Well, we're back to this. Um, we did go through. I didn't spend a ton of money because I can't because it's paper only or non-electronic. And Rob just told me that they're going to fire the six pounder off in a minute or not in a minute, but in a little while. So I hope that Rob and I are still around when they actually do it. That'd be kind of cool. Don't you think? Um, anyways, that's it. Um, I'm going to go back in quickly and uh, see what's going on. But uh, I did buy some, purchase some stuff and I'll show it to you later. Obviously World War One related. What the hell? Um, okay. That's about it really. Okay. See you in a bit. Yeah, Rob pointed out that the, the sponsors are listed here, and that would be a very smart thing to do, considering um, all the things here are so freaking affordable. It's just crazy. Almost, Rob and I almost, our hearts broke there. The guy is selling one of his hats from when he was a kid or something. Was that? Or, is, or was it military, Rob, no, or his Boy no Scouts? Military. No, military. Like Jeepers jumping, five bucks he's selling it. Oh my God, the Hobby Center, I know them, I think. If it's them where I'm thinking of, or maybe I'm not. Uh, could be. Anyways, okay, hold on. Playing combat commander. Nice to see. Some actual freaking gameplay. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is uh, the Ottawa Miniatures groups here. My god. So there we go. Yeah. Having the chit chat, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Impressive or what, eh? Oh, I think they're doing a demo about the, the six-pounder gun over there, and then they're going to actually fire it, I think that's what's happening. Oh my gosh. Yes. My, oh my. Isn't that awesome? I'm loving this. Military Police Company, 10th Infantry Division, Siege of Budapest. Wow. Oh my goodness. Merrickville, almost 30 years now. Merrickville 